Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you very good in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you for your son, your daughter that is watching me right now. I ask for your mercy and your grace. Help her. Help him in Jesus' name. This is why your miracle is prolonged. This is why your breakthrough is delayed. This is why things are the way they are. I want you to understand that formulas rule the world, natural and spiritual world. And the formulas you have in your hands determine your future and your eventuality. A man that has the formula is never afraid of the question because he will definitely apply the formula to the question and derive an answer. God rarely gives answers. God mostly gives formulas. And then you use intelligence to merge the formulas to the questions to derive the answers. The reason why some people are the way they are, the reason why some people are stagnant, suffering, prolonged suffering, is number one, they don't pray until they see results. You see that you have money doesn't mean you have enough money. You have money, but can that money get you a car? Can that money get you an estate? Can that money get you a property? Somebody has $1,000, that's money but not money enough to buy certain things. So that you have faith doesn't mean you have faith enough. That you have prayed doesn't mean you have prayed enough. There is such a thing as travailing in prayer and prevailing through travail. Bible says, as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth children. In Luke 18 verse one, it says, men ought always to pray and not to faint. Are you getting me at all? So prayer becomes a necessity very very necessary to pray many christians have prayed but not prayed until results come they pray and then along the way they get discouraged oh i've been praying nothing is changing i've been praying look at my life that energy you are using to complain if you used it to press the more in prayer then maybe just maybe things would have changed the day hannah prayed consistently until a prophet intervened that was the day her life changed dramatically you cannot keep leaving the place of prayer and think that things will change you cannot keep entering and stepping out before you even see results and think that things will change things don't change like that things change when consistent pressure is mounted on the elements of darkness to make them to you know release the destinies of men this is why you are stagnant this is why you are where you are you have not prayed until things change you haven't i pray that god will open your eyes to work on this thing i just said and he will give you understanding in jesus name amen do have a wonderful time i'm praying for you bye bye